welcome. This video is to show how to flash new firmware onto the GRC or Yashin H8 um, mini quadcopter. Just a little disclaimer, anything that you do, taking it apart, soldering, all the electronics part of it, you could totally break this thing, but luckily they're only a couple bucks online. So might want to buy a couple. Never know what's going to end up happening to it, but I'm not taking responsibility for anything that you do with the little quadcopter. But um, to start out with, you just need a quadcopter. You'll need three pieces of wire, preferably with uh, little connectors on them. A ST-Link version 2 is what I'm using. Um, seems to be the one that works for me. Of course, a fully charged battery. Do not try doing this with a not fully charged battery. If the battery dies in the middle of the flashing process, it will be bricked. So, starting off with it, just got to disassemble. Easy enough. I'm even going to use the little screwdriver they give you that it came with. And you'll want to take out the 12 screws that's on, that are in here. I've flown this copter a million times, crashed it all over the place. These are great for learning. One of my favorite things about them. By adding the silver XXX firmware on there, then you can practice acro with a disposable mini quadcopter. And then it just falls apart. Be careful not to break any of the wires. Make sure to hold on to all the screws, of course. There are two different types of screws that are in there. There's uh, a couple, the, there's four that are shorter that'll go um, in the far outer holes, and then there'll be eight longer screws that go into the rest of the holes. So, that is those. So you can leave the motors on for this tutorial. I'm going to leave the motors on. Um, just make this a simple. Just going to do the straight, straight work to it. So you can get a good, good shot of those connectors. There is, right of it side up. There is ground, dat, and click. Those are the three, th three that we're going to need. CLK, click. Um, those are the three that we're going to be using and soldering to. I like to add a little bit to the pads because it just helps out. Because um, I've tried to solder to those little pads before and it does not work. So here goes now. And I'm going to remove these wires once I'm done, so I'm not too concerned about actually leaving them on there. I use black for ground just to keep it straight in my head. Uh, 
had them come apart before. It happens. But it seems like they'll stick. So simple as that for that part. Um, what you end up doing with the blue board is you connect, I can even read it, ground, ground, that you are going to connect to uh, SWCLK, or SW click as I call it. So that to click, and the last one will be click to SWDO. Which is pretty much that. So that's what you've done. Of course, be gentle because you may end up falling out of your solders. So it's as simple as that. That's the, the starting basic run up. All right, so here we go. We're, uh, I'm on the rcgroups.com website. Uh, this is the thread. I will post this in the description of the video. Uh, this is a great place to get, and this is how I learned how to do this. Um, reading through this is a great idea. Sometimes just being able to see it in a video is also really nice because then you can actually get a visual because I was really confused when I first did this. I'm not a programmer. Um, I barely could solder, as you could see earlier, but uh, I was able to learn how to do this and figure it out. But this video, I just really want other people to be able to learn and have an easier time, a little less headache. Um, so follow the directions. Um, we did the first step already. The um, download and install the MDK, install the SD link drivers. Yep, these are all good things to do. Just go through the list and get all the way to where you're going to find the firmware. So. Uh, I'm going to grab the firmware from here real quick. GitHub, I'm confused it's not on me when I first started doing this. What I do is I just go to download and download zip. And of course, this is the blue board version. So once you open up the, the file, you do extract it to wherever you need to, open it up. Um, open up silverware and then you'll get this one that says silverware U projects. All you have to do is double click on it That took me forever to figure out for no good reason um, As your first try on this in, in flashing just you know Do it as normal. Uh, you don't need to, to play around with anything. You just need to go to project and build target And you'll come up with some stuff at the bottom of the screen Compiling, compiling, compiling. A lot of compiling. And there you go. All done. Yay. So now this is a step that I started doing because I had a lot of trouble getting this to work the very first time. Uh, it was extremely frustrating and I had to keep trying. So. Here we go, this is my, my way of doing this. Uh, first I plug in my battery, and it'll be flashing like normal, and then I plug in my ST. It'll beep, and then I want to open up my ST-Link utility. Okay, so I got my ST-Link utility open, and what I'll do is I'll go ST-Link, and I will connect. And this is the error that I get on it. So the way I get around this error and then open up the ST link utility and hit connect. So what normally happens with this is that you don't get all this code on here you actually have an issue where it has uh, some copy protection. So you go to target, hit option bytes, and then right where it says readout protection, it'll say level one, change it to level zero, and hit apply. It'll say updating, going through all that. 
and then it will give you the code that's normally on here. So once you get that, then you're all good on there. So once you disconnect it from the device, then you can open up Kelly again, and you should have had, had built it already. You'd be able to go to flash and erase. It'll say full chip erase done. Then you go flash download. And when you do this and it's successful, the quad will start flashing. So now it's flashing, it's looking for a bind signal. Um, once you do this, you can actually grab the controller, turn it on. There it goes. You now have a flash quadcopter. It's uh, it's actually complete at this point. Um, just because I got it on and, and it's open right now, I'll show real quick the gestures. People get this really confused and have trouble with it. See if I can get it on camera. You go right, right, down, and it'll flash. Now it's in level mode. Then you can go left, left, down, flashes, and now you're in acro mode again. Very simple. That's the, the procedure on that. So there you go.